Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I gotta admit, I might sound a little hoarse today. You did an Eden run recently, right? I feel like I've been talking about that a lot lately. It's been a semi-busy, stressful time. Lots of, you know, I mean, it's not like it's been... I've been in a, like a camp or something like that, re-education or anything along those lines. That's a good way to start uh, off a reference, or start off a video with a reference to like, you know, some of the most horrible events that have ever occurred in human history. Anyway, um, you know, moving, Curse of the Labyrinth means that unfortunately I've probably blown my deal with the devil chances. Moving, packs, etc, etc. I think my body was finally like, okay, you've done, <laughs> my son, you've finished all your errands. Now, it's time to pay the piper, and I, I'm a little bit sick. It's alright, uh, I can tell that I think tomorrow... Is it, I'm not sure if this is a superpower or what, but I always... I know I'm gonna get sick like 36 hours before it happens. Which is nice, because I can prepare, you know? I, st I still feel pretty good today, I can get some work done, you know, accomplish anything that really needs to be accomplished, but tomorrow I'm probably just gonna be, you know, going hard on the NyQuil sitting in bed. But for now... I can play some Binding of Isaac and uh, hopefully still perform up to my usual standard, which is not that difficult, you know, considering that my usual standard is... Fuck that! My usual standard's pretty good. I'm not gonna get on the train of being self-deprecating yet. Samson is a character we haven't played as in a little while. I quite like him, but I will say that we've got uh, a little bit of a problem on our hands. The problem might not be the right word, but we've got a little bit of a... Uh, an asynchronicity on our hands because of this, like, Curse of the Labyrinth. That was another weird way to put it, but basically, as Samson, without a spacebar item, one of the easiest ways, or one of the most common ways, or one of the most, you know, repeatable ways for you to be able to get really strong is to pick up an IV bag. IV bags can only appear on blood banks, 90% of which show up on even-numbered floors. I'm gonna try for a black market here. We're very, very unlikely to get an even-numbered floor uh, blood bank here because we didn't have five cents when we spawned. Oh shit! We didn't have five cents when we spawned in. I don't think like I, I'm pretty confident that you can't get an arcade on your first curse of the labyrinth. It just doesn't or, like if you, you get a curse of the labyrinth first, I should say. I may be mistaken about that, but I don't think I am. Could have gone to fight the boss, but I figured we might as well go to at least one of these item rooms first. Uh, Judgment. Pyro is amazing here. And with the five extra bombs, we actually uh, can go try for that secret room again, or I could just get the bomb. But if I'm just going to get the bomb, who cares? Pyro is, in many ways, uh, almost a one-run item as is. As long as we can keep our bombs relatively high, this can allow me to play Blood Banks pretty much endlessly. Uh, it makes me nearly unkillable once we get into the late game. It's, it is one of the best items in the game. Is it one of my favorites? Not necessarily, which is not to say it's bad, more so it's just kind of like... I don't know, it, it, it doesn't have that many like interesting repercussions for me, unless we get like Ipecac or something like that. If we get Ipecac or Dr. Fetus, then I'll be uh, a little bit more jazzed about it. But as of right now, it's a really nice failsafe in case things go like terribly, terribly wrong on this floor or the next floor. What am I going to do with this Judgment card? Well, I'm hoping it's a Demon Judgment, but... Well, I'm actually glad we got Little Steven so that we don't have to worry about getting Little Steven on a boss room. But anyway, let's uh, throw down a bomb probably over here just to see if the secret room is here. It could be. And if we get a decent amount of money, we're going to be up to like 7 cents here. If we can get up to like uh, maybe 15 on this floor, which is not going to happen, then I would use this judgment card. We could use our key, go to the shop, buy a spirit heart. It's actually not a bad idea, but I really don't think I'm going to need it on the basement here. If I get hit by the bosses, that's my own fault, and I've already taken red heart damage, so I kind of feel like uh, I, I've, I've kind of burned myself already. I don't know if that would have even found the secret room. I gotta start just placing bombs where they actually belong. It's a very sloppy play to not do that. There we go. Gemini, a little bit of a rarer boss fight, but not a difficult one. Okay, maybe I'm gonna eat my words on this one. I'm worried that like little Steven is gonna hit him with an angled shot, like a shot that's curving. And then he's gonna knock him into a place that's really bad for me. A range upgrade. We can't do anything about it, we might as well make the best of it. Ooh, a range upgrade. Mom, get the camera, it's what I always wanted. Range upgrade. The socks of the Binding of Isaac. That's not fair, man. Socks are a really nice Christmas gift. The older I've gotten, the more I've been like, 
it, you know, I can get my own stuff. I'm a 26 year old man. For Christmas, I don't ask for like material things really. But if you can get me, oh my god, that's a little ridiculous now. If you can get me something that saves me some time, like if you buy me socks and underwear so I don't have to spend like two hours shopping for socks and underwear. You just made my list of things to do today, but in like a good way, I guess. Pyro will save me, alright. Bombs are key. Not too perturbed by that. We did not get a deal with the devil, of course. Explosive diarrhea is totally fine with Pyro. This floor is really where we gotta get that deal with the devil. I can't believe... I mean, I can believe it mathematically speaking, but it still kind of rubs me the wrong way that we got hit once. And, uh, it was on, like, the second room, and it ruined my deal with the devil chances for basically two floors. I guess technically one floor, because we were on, uh, the basement XL, so... Basement one can't give you a deal with the devil. To the best of my knowledge. Never seen it happen. You, you, I mean, you can't get a deal with the devil. Normally, you could get one with a Joker card. Let's not get pedantic here. You know what I mean. It's like the people I was like, there's never a deal with the devil after the mom's heart fight, guys. There's never a deal with the devil. And people said, uh-uh, Northern Lion. Actually, on some of the challenges where you have to go down to Shoal, there's a deal with the devil after the mom's heart fight. I'm like, oh, you fucking assholes. You're right. That's why I hate it. But at the same time, you know, this isn't Jeopardy. This is like, practically speaking. You know, you're not gonna die from overdosing on NyQuil. Well, technically, one person did five years ago. Uh, took a 35... Okay, again, within reason. You know, within the bounds of an average... Average life here. So we have Curse of the Unknown. We have three HP, and we were at full HP. So we can play this at least four times, just to be safe. Three... Four, and uh, then we can bomb ourselves twice, and that will heal ourselves back up. It's a little risky, admittedly. And then we can do one, two, three, four, and that'll at least allow us to get to our shop, and we've got the full damage bonus. Um, that's awesome, actually. That there's a uh, that there's a rainbow poop in here. That's gonna make my life a lot easier as well. No bad trip. Health up. Okay, well. Break this. Now we can go back and play the Blood Bank six times. I actually want to see. Not a Demon Judgment. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can even go a little harder than that. I'm just trying to play it safe. For now, though, I, I really like an HP upgrade from this guy. Two of diamond. Ah, okay, we'll pop it right away. I only wasted two cents in the process there. Okay, we got a bottle of pills. Explosive diarrhea. It's actually pretty good from an HP standpoint. I got hit three times there. Or I was at full HP, so I couldn't get healed anymore. Oh, we're at full HP. So I can go back and play at least six times. I really want the IV bag here. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Look, it's getting a little bit ridiculous here, I gotta say. Kind of expected to pay out much er earlier than that, but, uh, you know, I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. At least we're getting, temporarily, we're getting a, g a great damage bonus. Oh, this is awesome, actually. X-ray vision will allow us to uh, easily access all of our secret rooms for the rest of the game. Relatively easily, at least, and inside of our shop. Yeah, um, so I do want Champion's Belt. I'll even try this on for size. And explosive diarrhea again. Awesome. Um, I do want champion's belt. I might want red candle. My thinking, though, is that... Um... Oh, dang it. That was... Uh, I bought the spirit heart, so that was not red heart damage. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, my thinking before we do that is that I'll explosive diarrhea and see how many times I can get hit. I think I only got hit like once there. So I'm only gonna play this guy three times. Are you kidding me? I can play it four times actually now that I think about it. This is getting a little bit ridiculous, I gotta say. Um, I'm very thankful for the money. I don't wanna take Red Candle until I know whether or not we're gonna be able to hold IV bag, because I don't wanna spend 15 cents on something, use it twice, and then, you know, be 
stuck with something else, you know? It's just a total waste. However, uh, I'll admit that Red Candle is very good, so if we don't get IV Bag and we get stuck with Red Candle, that's a pretty good situation. I'm not gonna complain too hard about it. Even though it sounds like I probably already am. Well, I can't believe we're at nine minutes here on the... Oh, it's not the, technically the second floor, because we had an XL floor now that I think about it, but still, crazy. I'm tempted to kind of blow up these, uh... These mushrooms, but I think if I blow up next to the mushrooms, I'll still take damage. But if I go, like, up here... Did I not get healed there? Lemon party's alright. Range upgrade. I think we're probably sorted for range upgrades, but I guess I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth for a free stat upgrade. Two more bombs. It's gotta be a boss room here, yeah. I don't know, man. I really, really want to go back for the uh, for the blood bag chance. We'll see what happens in here, though. I should be able to get through Gertie without getting hit, or at least, you know, without putting myself at risk of death. Although those are actually pretty close together, I think, based on my HP. Unless I've been accidentally playing way too conservatively with that blood bank. But, you know, Curse of the Unknown is... It's a crapshoot for blood banks, man. You gotta really keep your uh, relative HP awareness up. Oh, that was a little dangerous there. Should get a deal. Old bandage is not filled, but it is more HP. And we're gonna have our Krampus fight. So we still won't have a deal with the Devil Precedent, unfortunately. But we'll get Lump of Coal, we'll get Lump of Coal, we'll get Krampus' head. Krampus' head is, uh... It's probably better than the pills. I'm gonna have to say that yes, that's, that's probably true. Um... I've already been to our second secret room, haven't been to our curse room. I'm less interested in going to our curse room than I am in getting to, uh, this blood bank. I, I, here's what I'm thinking. We're still probably better off getting red candle. So I've healed myself once there. I'm gonna do it again. It did work, so I got two HP out of that. I can come back here and play you at least four times. I know I won't die. I might find myself in a little bit of a tricky position on the next floor, but I'm not gonna die as a result of this. Plus, we actually could spawn a blood bank on the next floor because we have more than five cents, or we're guaranteed basically to have more than five cents. There's our fourth play, and we got HP back from it. So this is old bandage here. I did pick it up, right? I hope so. <laughs> All right, old bandage did not pay out again, but we got back to 15 cents. I don't really want to go to the curse room, just a little bit too risky in this situation. And, um, it's, it sucks that we didn't get the IV bag, or at least the blood bag there, but we got a lot of money out of it, and, uh... I, I really can't complain about where we are. This is a pretty good situation. No deal with the devil precedent still, but, uh, apart from that, picking up the red candle is a nice little, uh, boost for us, and that will make it so we have a shortcut to the higher damage, even without the IV bag. But hopefully the IV bag... We can manage to make it spawn on the next floor when we have a little bit more, you know, insurance with our actual HP. I had way more HP than I thought I did. Still, I don't want to be the guy who accidentally kills myself on the blood bank trying to, you know, be a little bit above his IQ grade. I think we've got like six more plays left. Oh, I'm dead. See how the comments will look there. Probably not so hot if I had to guess. Um, I, I mean, I could open that. I'm tempted to open it. We have a Master of Unlocking, but it's not worth the loss of HP right now. I want to keep the Spirit Heart going to, again, give us a better chance at a deal. Terrible damage. Just stood there and watched it come in. Hmm. Interesting. I'm... Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about it. Um, I, I do like Forget Me Nows, though. Like, not in real life, that's disgusting, but in uh, in game, I'm, I'm a big fan of them because an extra floor is worth an awful lot. By the way, I don't I don't buy into the the excuse, so I'm sick, I'm sick, you know? I've, I've led a, a pretty medically privileged life, you know? I, I've been lucky to not have any, like, medical, uh, major medical concerns or anything like that. Still relatively young, you know, one day, you know, we all will get culled by the you know, death scythe. But anyway, on that happy note, uh, most of my 
when I get ill, it's just an excuse for me to basically like lay in bed and watch a lot of movies and stuff like that. So my brain is still working probably at like 80% capacity at worst. It's like we got a reverse Lucy situation going on here. Like it's it's still going fine. I'm not going to use that as an excuse. That's my excuse for why my voice sounds a little bit like shit. But apart from that, I think we probably will use the forget me now, but it depends a little bit. Yeah, it, I, it sounded ridiculous, but it depends a little bit on what we get in our item rooms, because I'm going to have to lose Red Candle. Red Candle is a, uh, a really nice shortcut to damage for us. So if I can't get extra damage from our, uh, our special rooms, then I have to think twice about it. But Daddy Longlegs is extra damage in, in kind of a non-direct roundabout fashion, but it is, and it's, it's super good. Is it as good as Red Candle? I might even classify it as a little bit better than Red Candle as a result of um, it being a passive. We'll totally take BFF. I don't think there's any reason to take Blue Map. I want to keep our HP, or sorry, our money high enough that I could uh, spawn an arcade on the next floor as well if we have to. This is good. I bought these special hearts to try to give me a better chance at a deal with the devil next time. Of course, the really smart play would be to save it for the end of the floor, but you get the idea. You know. My, my heart's in the right place. Sometimes I, you know, what's the, the organ that controls laziness? Like your gallbladder? Sometimes I just got a swollen gallbladder and I gotta, I gotta laze it up a little bit, man. There we go. You like it? That was like a little bit of a, like a territory play there. I would just fire and I was like, I'm just going to move my bullets like this and if you walk into them, it's your fault. And then Daddy Longlegs is like, I'm just going to drop my foot over here and if you fall into it, then it's your fault. Mission accomplished. 10-1-7 on consumables. I, I didn't expect like anything else to be over here. Alright, so I should have just run for the bombs instead because I have pyro. I didn't forget that I had pyro. There's just a lot of things going on in like a very brief second there that I figured, uh, or my, my brain didn't quite sort it out in time. So yes, we will use Forget Me now. Goodbye, Red Candle. You've been very nice for this one floor, and I don't, uh, I don't mean that facetiously. You've been a good friend. Thank you for being a friend. Whatever. Should have tried to use that to knock some of the other red chests out of their shitholes, but... Wow. We're gonna come back there, like that that's an ideal room for like a hanged man card. We can go to our boss trap Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. We can go to our boss trap room very easily, so we'll probably make an effort to do so. Not really what I expected as a payout there. Yeah, I'll do it. I want I want money basically in this situation. And Daddy Longlegs straight up just destroyed Fistula in one hit. I did not actually know that that was possible, but that's awesome as hell. So I wanted to wait, yeah, basically just wait for uh, the haunt to spawn. Sorry, let me put it this way. Wait for Daddy Longlegs to be ready before I killed the little haunt. So that it would use its powers for good on the big haunt. That was a very, very easy boss trap room. And are we doing boss rush? Uh, I'd say it's pretty unlikely. We're about two floors behind the eight ball uh, from where we'd like to be if that's going to be a, a plausible thing for us. So I'm hoping that maybe we can just kill the purple one quickly here. We kill the purple one. We can't really take damage from any of the other enemies unless they walk into us, which is easy enough to avoid. Most of the time. Being a little bit more vigilant about saving bombs, just because I know that they could be, you know, the life giver later in the game. As much as I would love Magic Mushroom or something like that, this is working out fine as well. Probably should have been hit there. That was a really reckless walk. Robo Baby is not good. However, with BFF, it's the best version of himself that he can be. And, you know, that's something we should all aspire to. We can all learn something from BFF Robo Baby. Nasty HP. I don't know why I stood there thinking that would give me a spirit heart. Okay, these guys ruined your spirit heart on the last floor. They ruined your devil chance, I should say. That's a great room if we find a blood bank. No greed. <clears throat> I'll probably just be content to take the spirit heart here. Hopefully we find our boss room right up here. Changed his trajectory in a way that I was not too fond of. I'm assuming we'll still be able to get the 15 cents one way or the other if we want to. That way we can buy 9 volts, but uh, it's, it's non-essential right now. We don't even have a spacebar item to back it up. 
We'll try it this way. We got two pills out of it. Bombs are key as one. Bad trip. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Alright. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. It's a nice little confluence of spiders that you handled very easily there. Let's do this without getting hit. It is the husk. If there's ever a boss you can beat without getting hit, it's probably the husk. Stay away. Experimental treatment. Ooh, we gained one HP. I think we gained rate of fire as well. Hard to tell what else. So again, no deal with the devil. I don't necessarily feel like I earned one, but I kind of I was looking forward to it. I thought it was maybe at least a little likely. All will be forgiven if we can get an arcade on this floor. Health up. I mean, that's good. Let's think of it, uh, you know, look on the bright side. The more HP we get, the easier it's going to be for us, like, on the womb to use our inevitable blood bag. This is really unfortunate. <laughs> um, sure. I mean, I'm still happy we did this extra floor. We got Robo Baby. We got, um... Couple of HP. When you put it like that, it's not really that exciting, but uh man. I can I can feel like the hoarseness in my voice coming on, and I find myself getting seriously like I could just live like this forever now. I should this should just be my new voice. I could be the lead singer for Interpol or something. We might as well take concussive tears. As I understand, I haven't really looked into it because surprise, um, but Concussive Tears comes with a small damage upgrade. Even a small damage upgrade is nothing to sneeze at as far as I'm concerned. That It can, in aggregate, make the difference between life and death. As can these range upgrades, that's like our fifth one. We're shooting uh, to a staggering degree right now. This one's easy, just don't get hit. Or like, don't, don't get hit by walking into them and don't get hit by that one guy's bullets. Or that one invisible asshole. Thank you, flies and daddy long legs. This one, a little bit less of a window for failure, but seriously, daddy long legs is such a, a huge part of this run right now. If we could just get a goddamn IV bag, all would be forgiven. We need to blow up some of these skulls, I think. That guy survived a lot longer than I thought he would. Uh, I want to blow up some of the skulls so I can have a chance to get a black card, because otherwise we're probably going to lose a, what little chance we have for a deal with the devil. And actually, on this floor, I think we have a great chance for one, so let's hope that that's the case. Saving this bombs are key pill, I mean, for the obvious reasons of maybe we'll need more bombs than keys, or more keys than bombs in one day, or on one of these floors. Uh, and the also obvious, but in case you're not aware, situation where, you know, we have pyro, so... I'd rather have 14 bombs and be able to survive if we can use our keys for other shit. So 4 does reroll shop pedestals, as people have told me. However, you have to buy the item before it rerolls. Like, you have to buy the item or it will not reroll the shop pedestal. So, uh, we're, we're gonna... I, I'm starting to like the 4 room. It's basically like a D6 you have to walk into. But we want to make sure that we see our items before we reroll them. Just in case they're good. We don't want to reroll a polyphemus or something like that. A mom's knife, etc., etc. I mean, Robo Baby's still doing its job here, so. I think I can kill you before you can get over to me. Just Daddy Long Legs basically will finish the job there. Alright. So let's find our item room in our shop, and then if they suck, we can buy the items and backtrack, and then they'll get rerolled. Nothing there really worth the, uh, the investment, I think. At this point, just give me more familiars, man. Give me Guppy's Hairball. Guppy's Hairball uh, BFF is always funny. Oh, this, yeah, 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 yeah. Not surprised we took a hit there. I, we've taken, like, surprisingly little damage over the course of the run, but it's predominantly come in situa- Oh, I shouldn't have pushed that away. It's predominantly come in situations where it's, like, ruined my deal with the devil chance, which is so frustrating. Got some golden poop. I mean, money is not a problem on this run, nor has it ever been, really, uh, on this run. There have been Isaac runs where money has been a little bit more of an issue. It was kind of an ignorant statement for me to espouse there, wasn't it? Okay. 
It's a black card, so worst case scenario, they're all gonna die if I get hit once more. But I'd rather keep this half black card. It's kind of an important part of the, the conundrum here. There's our item room. We, we gotta min-max a little bit here to have the oof, to have the best chance possible of winning, so I will go to our shop first before going back to the four room to reroll that just in case there's something worth doing about it. Another spirit art. No greed, no greed. Okay, good. Blue candle. Yeah, I mean I'll get it. There's another health upgrade, I actually didn't know that. So we don't need to reroll anything in here, or rather we don't have the money to buy a remote detonator and then reroll it, so. I think we can also actually come to our boss room, and then if we don't like what the boss item is, we can rearrange it with the, the reroll. Always nice when you get a chance to uh, to learn something new in Isaac. Doesn't always happen. Eternal heart or something in here? What do we got? Mmm, I'm gonna blow you up. Just to save a little bit of time and still get some benefit out of it. There we go. We could buy a remote detonator now and reroll it. Maybe I will, but I'd like to really, really like to have five cents for the next floor. Oh, Jesus Christ. We got to deal with the devil. And we got toothpicks, which is actually pretty good. And we get two guppy items. Which is fine, yeah. That's fine, yeah? I think we're better off with blue candle for the shortcut to damage. Um, we can now go to our curse room for sure. If we became guppy on this run, it's a win. Deal with the devil precedent gives me high hopes that this could be a win. We'll probably do one more deal with the devil. If we get two, I'd consider that pretty good luck. But, uh, one for sure should be doable. And black candle. And we've had all the candles on this run. Let's try for, like, some kind of special card or something here. Oh, another black card. That's good. Okay. So now we're going to go back to our uh, four room, and on that fourth room, the pip four room, we're going to uh, re-roll at the very least blood rights. And I'm not going to buy a remote detonator because I want to ensure that we stay above the amount of money that would allow me to get IV bag. As much as I love blue candle, I would trade away blue candle for like maximum tier damage bonus from bloody lust that we can get on every single floor. And with pyro, we could buff ourselves back up to full health as well. But I'm not sure if it's going to happen here. Long walk, by the way. <laughs> Already had 24 minutes. Usually you're on, like, the, the cathedral at 24 minutes. Sometimes, at least, if you're lucky. Here, we're on Depths 1, and we got the Game Kid. More like the Lame Kid. No offense, Lame Kid. Uh, we have no desire to really use that. So I will just head down to the next floor. And this is the big one for arcades. I'm assuming we're probably going to fight Greed on this floor. Good day to you, partner. I'm Greed. I can already tell I'll be your only friend in this godforsaken shop. I still think we're better off with uh, Master of Unlocking. I like Master of Unlocking. We haven't encountered very many golden chests, if any. But I like it nonetheless. Bob's Brain, I like... Uh, but as far as an item room payout goes, you're always a little bit salty when you get Bob's brain out of an item room because it shows up all the damn time out of, out of golden chests anyway. All right. Tears up. Two tears up pills automatically makes this worth it. We got a full health and we got a speed down. Speed down sucks pretty hard. We'll roll with a full health pill though. I still think that was worth it. A little bit more of a, um... A mixed bag with that speed downgrade. Okay, here we go. So I gotta kill this guy like with daddy long legs. To avoid accidentally blowing up the blood bank. There we go. Alright, work with me here. IV bag. Alright. There could still be an arcade on this floor. <laughs> Let's focus on the positive. How are you not dead, Dingle? I hate you with like a BFF Bob's brain shot. I don't know if BFF does affect Bob's brain, but it's certainly larger. Um, I think we'll just donate, honestly, there you go. Now we can buy whatever we want. Do we want a little baggie? Not really. Do we want mom's coin purse? Not really. Maybe we'll find a four room. This is our boss room if we're interested. We've already been to our shop and our item room. But those are the important rooms here. It's all about the arcade. Which I'm, I'm getting increasingly skeptical that we're gonna find. Oh, never mind. okay. All is forgiven. No demon judgment, that's alright though. IV bag, please, work with me. 
We can use our full health pill here and then take bad trip with us. That's another blood bag? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I guess I'm happy about it. It's more HP, but... I was also hoping to be able to access that uh, boss trap room there. Can't get to boss rush, so I gotta get to some room with bomb or with boss in the title. Otherwise, it's just a total waste, isn't it? There's no way a secret room can border it, because we've already found our, our big secret room. At least we're getting a nice damage bonus on this floor. You can really see how amazing our damage would be if we were able to get IV bag and just keep this going. Okay, here we go again. This is the most tedious way to do this shit. But it does work. It's just going to take forever. You can't give me three IV bags on the same floor. It's cruel and unusual... Or three blood bags on the same floor. It's cruel and unusual punishment. I'll sit here for as long as I need to. I got apple juice. Ah, shit, I'm out of apple juice. By the way, but there's probably some people out there going, Apple juice? What are you, Northern Line, a baby? I, you have bought in hook, line, and sinker to the orange juice marketing companies, man. To the Tropicanas of the world. There's no reason orange juice is somehow a more adult beverage than apple juice. Just because you can mix it with vodka without throwing up. It doesn't make it any more of an adult. If I'm an adult and I'm going to the grocery store, I'm paying the juice cost myself. I can drink whatever kind of fucking juice I want. If I want grape juice, I can drink fucking grape juice, alright? Get off my back, mom. I just hate that, you know, you go to where this has never happened, but in my head it happens every time when I order something, you know? Can I have an apple juice and all of the chicken strips meal? What are you, two years old, you big baby? Oh my god, they took me up here. Not in the way I wanted, though. There's nothing wrong with it. You should eat whatever you, well, maybe not whatever you want to eat all the time, but when you're eating whatever you want to eat, you should get whatever you want to eat. Hagala's rune. Good news, Hagala's rune. Let's get the hell out of here. This floor has just made me very sad. In hindsight, we probably should have purchased the uh, mom's coin purse. We have such a good pill knowledge now that, uh, you know, we stand a good chance to get tears upgrades. We stand a good chance to get uh, HP upgrades. We'll take the Polaroid and head down to the next floor. It's been a it's been a run full of like the third best luck we could have ever asked for, which in some ways makes it seem unlucky, but it's actually pretty good. Like I think we got a pretty good shot for a win here. And we could open that. Maybe we should open that. Don't ever shoot at me again. This floor is a big deal though, because we really, really need to maximize our deal with the devil chances. If I can snag a deal with the devil, it doesn't matter if it's guppy. It would be nice if it was guppy, though. Look, I'm not saying it needs to be guppy, but it needs to be guppy. Now, but if we could get, like, a... Uh, just, like, one high damage item. It doesn't even have to be that incredible. You know, like, the pentagram or something like that it would go a long way. It would also be incredible if we just found, you know, maybe, like, a... Terrible damage on my part there. It'd be nice if we found like a uh, a blood bank on this floor, maybe even. Oh my god, I didn't take red heart damage. That's an optical illusion. I mean that sincerely, by the way. I'm not cracking a joke right now. We were already missing one red heart container, so we have not lost our our best chance at a deal with the devil yet. Yet, <laughs> being the key word. But we gotta get pretty lucky. Hopefully, find like a tinted rock or something. Balls of steel pill. Speed down, not really what I'm looking for. Thanks for the thought. It's the thought that counts, apparently, but uh, that counts for basically jack and shit there. Okay, two tiers upgrades. This is very nice. And then one of these is a lemon party. Lemon party is actually a very good pill. Full health is just substantially better. And right away, as soon as I shot there, I was like, what do I do? I should have just, I don't even know, put a bomb down right away. Probably fucked my deal with the devil chance here. We'll see, and of course, right away, there's two spirit hearts there. Alright, well, we, we could still get super lucky and have one spawn. I'm not super uh, optimistic about it. Yeah, man, hit me with your bomb, see if I give a shit. Alright, let's do this. No deal with the devil, but a speed upgrade at the very least. Shit, alright, well, let's try to beat it now. I think we got a pretty good chance. Most this is like a straight up vanilla run right here. We've got a pretty good chance mostly thanks to our our dang HP. That doesn't happen that often anymore. So explosive diarrhea is a pretty good pill to take if we're gonna come in here. Okay, so we still do play the 
Blood Bank first, because the IV bag is more important than whatever judgment would give me, and I mean that sincerely. Okay, so now it's time to like bomb ourselves back up or whatever, so we'll use explosive diarrhea here. That was pretty good. Play this guy again. I, I refuse to believe that. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? This is great. Okay. Well, let's play this guy. We are going to play the Demon Judgment as well. I'm amazed that this is like our fifth IV bag. Like, that's our fourth blood bag, but it's our fifth blood bank that we've been trying to play. And still, no IV bag. Come on, fanny pack. Health up. I shouldn't have taken that, actually. Actually, I guess with Pyro, it's better to have as many red hearts as possible. That makes sense. Bombs are key. Probably should uh, bomb ourselves a little bit here. Wanted to watch out for the uh, potential explosion there. Oh, good, yeah. Walk on the freaking uh, creep there. Smart idea. Thank you for paying out relatively quickly. I actually do appreciate that. Um, we have a full health pill in here, which I think is gonna what I'm going to roll with as time goes on. So we'll have a huge amount of damage on this floor, but still no IV bag. At this point, I've taken to realizing that, you know, early in the run, I said the easiest way to get a shortcut for damage as Samson is to get an IV bag. Happens all the time. Basically can't fail. So I pretty much I put myself in this shitty position. I dared the game not to do what it always does, and it uh, it responded in kind. Reverse psychology. Most people don't know this. It works on video games just as well as it works on people, apparently. Should have uh, waited for a second. I could have possibly gone to that boss room. And then there's two full healths here, so I could have played the... Well, it's not like we blew anything up, so it doesn't really matter. That, that wouldn't have changed our situation much. I could have saved a couple bombs. I don't know why. I was like, I can walk over the spikes. No, you fucking can't, you idiot. You can't get to a half-heart interval as you just did, though, in Fanny Pack. I was hoping for maybe, like, a Spirit Heart payout or something, but it's all right. If we lose this, I really don't care. I think fundamentally the difference between, like, 11 HP and 12 HP is quite low. If we end up nearly killing Blue Baby but fucking it up, then I apologize. I was going to say, there's got to be a pin somewhere here. You're lucky, man. Very lucky you didn't get hit by uh, Bob's brain there. It would have smoked your bitch ass and served it with a the side of herring. It's weird because I want to complain about this run, but actually it's still going like pretty well. If we didn't get a staggering amount of HP upgrade pills and blood bags, we would have been fucked. But if we didn't get blood bags... Presumably, we would have gotten IV, one IV bag at least. There goes our eternal heart. Which would have gone a long way towards solving any damage problems I'm perceiving us to have, but our damage is okay. Largely, that's a product of Daddy Long Legs, Blue Candle, and the fact that I did get to play a Blood Bank for like 10 uses on this floor, though. I don't know, man. It's a weird one, but I think we're, we're gonna be just fine here. Pyro helps out a lot. Pyro's like the ultimate defensive item. Old bandage is not hurting either. Full health of the moon. There's not really much need for us to use the moon card, as we have already the x ray goggles. Another tinted rock in here. I don't know what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for like golden chests, I guess. And there you go. Didn't really work out that well. Why did I say golden chests? Well, we already have small rock. I don't think you can get more than one. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. I, for, I just realized, by the way, we can just stand right next to Bob's brain as it explodes. And the worst case scenario is that it'll heal us. I should stop running away from it. But I don't want to break the habit of running away from Bob's brain and then on the next run when I get it, and I inevitably will, being like, why? I don't get it. Why is my brain broken? There we go. Even if we run out of bombs... Oh, when you definitely should have put the bomb up here. Even if we run out of bombs, we still have uh, Bob's brain. Endless HP regeneration, just very, very slowly. 
Not a boss room. I love you, Daddy Long Legs. I love you, Daddy Long Legs. Kiss me. Wow, you're gonna have to get a stool or something, sister. <laughs> In my head, that's a uh, it's a romantic movie from the 30s about a man who just has really long legs. That's why you have to get a stool, you know? Look. It might not have been one of the top pictures of its day, but, uh, you know, it knows how to rouse a good audience, you see? I really wish that we'd become guppy right there. I guess I should have let those bombs heal me, but again, it doesn't really matter because we have unlimited HP. Through our bombs and through Bob's brain, at least temporarily. Yeah, I'm trying to walk into Bob's brain if you don't mind. But my tears keep knocking things back here. Alright. Freaking finally. We are going to make it to the chest. I don't think anything can stop us now. Is toothpicks really that good? <laughs> guppy? Not Guppy. I'd say the Guppy dream is probably uh, it's probably lost to the ether. Not good damage, but that's okay. Bob's brain's about to come back. We're actually doing a decent amount of damage ourselves now. I guess on the next floor, I could actually just let myself get hit like 30 times. It's only actually like 7 times. And then we'll get the damage bonus. And then full health or bomb ourselves. I don't think it, like, it matters which one we do. They're both finite resources. Yeah, we... I, I don't think there's any way for us to lose this, but... My, uh, the reason I keep drumming up that kind of commentary... Is I'm like, how can that be possible that there's no way that we can lose this run? Well, the wafer helps out a lot. I can understand your thinking about Mr. Boom, but I think Mr. Boom is actually, like, pretty bad. It's one, it's like a double yum heart right now, but it's okay. And, uh, I think we should just, like, straight up, like, get ourselves hit on this room. So here's what I'm thinking. We, we kill this guy, and then we just walk into his friend over and over. And we can actually heal ourselves as we're walking into him, based on the bombs that he spawns. Shielded Tears is fine as well, like, our rate of fire is really good. These guys spawn bomb flies as well, so it makes my life uh, pretty easy. Plus, we have the wafer now. I'm deliberately walking into these guys. Yeah, sure, Northern Lion, I bet. No, for real, though. There we go, and we've healed ourselves back up with Bob's brain there. What a weirdly synergistic run. Can't remember if we got really, like, any luck upgrades. Thank you. I think we've probably taken seven hits now. I really don't want to do this room, knowing that it's a dead end, but we'll get through it pretty easily. Even the Mega Fatty's taking damage, even though I wasn't really attacking them directly. Feels good, man. At some point, you will die. Yeah, you can't live forever, probably. That's my worst nightmare, a Mega Fatty where the HP just never goes down. Thank God for that extra money. That's going to be extremely useful in the shop that comes up in the chest. I'm telling you, man. They, in Afterbirth, there needs to be a shop, and it shows up in the chest, and everything costs like 8 HP or something like that. Like a black market, but a nightmare mode black market. Consider it, Ed. And Tyrone as well. And everybody else on the team over at Nicholas. And you at home as well. I'm not getting that key. Out of principle. You know, it's like pouring one out for your, your fallen comrades. I'm not going to pick up that key unless they give me enough chests to deal with it. You might be questioning, how does that metaphor make any sense that you recently said? Don't question it, is my thinking. Blue Candle doing work. And this will be uh, this will be over in due time here. There we go. Juicy Sack. And by Juicy Sack, I mean Ball of Tar. Ball of Tar is acceptable. His name is Bolitar. And he fucks anything. If you meet me by Grub's Tavern, I will show you where the treasure is hidden. I don't really care if you hit me because I got 21 HP sitting in the wings here. I got Bob's brain. Daddy Longlegs, when it hits me uh, with the foot, it actually counts as an explosion. Fuck it, let's take Cursed Eye. I don't care. As if this run wasn't weird enough. 
getting straight up ridiculous here. I'm mostly gonna tap shoot, you know. My sack isn't quite uh, voluminous enough in order to just uh, charge shots all the time. I don't want to teleport if possible. Mostly because it's just gonna slow me down. We're not really like <laughs> if we had piercing shots. I'd be feeling a lot better about the speed of this run, probably. But good God, it's taking forever here. I mean, our actual like individual damage is not particularly strong. We don't need that HP there, so who cares? We got a nice little like one-two punch here. It's like we're playing a fighting game. You hit him with a cursed eye shot, then you throw in the blue candle, and then Bob's brain comes in on the you know the high punch quarter circle forward here and just finishes the job. We've had a lot of super long Isaac runs lately too. What's up with that? I'm not complaining necessarily because the long ones tend to have like more fodder for strategic decision and stuff like that. But it is a little crazy. We've been having like more hour long runs than ever before. All clustered into like the same week. I got a gland the size of a fucking golf ball under my jaw right now. It's a gland, not a glands. Do different things. We got another full health, huh? Two tiers up, one's a bombs or key. Oh, a health up. Yeah, that's convenient. We might as well hit ourselves like three or four more times just to see if we can get the damage bonus. And by three or four more times, I mean like a thousand, but... We're, we, I can't get out of there! So we're gonna, we're gonna take full health and then walk out with full health. And not get hit on the way out. What a novel strategy. I doubt we're gonna need that Ankh. I certainly hope we don't need that Ankh. Yeah, we're doing a decent amount of damage. I wonder how many times I'm going to teleport out of this fight, though. I'm hoping it's zero. I mean, I could just use a... Uh, like, stick it a full charge and then just use a... Uh, blue Candle and Bob's Brain to do all the damage. I don't know why I became a uh, famous Canadian rapper Snow there, temporarily. Informer, we're going to find ourselves a blue baby. Oh, stick it the Bob's Brain charge. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, but there's a cadence, and it goes like this. Snow's late career was marked by lots of sentimental ballads. It was a weird change. Tonal shifts are endemic in the Canadian rap industry. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.